Good morning, back again. Um, just a random thought, really. Uh, first off, before we begin this time, let's um, mash that subscribe button if you could. Subscribe, subscribe button was talking shit, so show them you ain't no punk and mash them out. So, um, you know, a lot of you know who know me. Um, about like a month ago, my car got totaled, like right on this very street I live near. Um, basically what happened was I wasn't in the car first off so that's a good thing but see here in this apartment complex there's so many people that live here I'm trying to get the hell out of here as soon as I can but there's so many people that live here because the uh, utilities and everything are free so people try to take advantage of the uh, the free utilities as a result what happens a lot of time is whenever you have an area like that like people People want to move in like by the masses and as a result like you just have overcrowding you'll have like too many people living in one apartment building and you'll have like parking space situations and all type of stupidity that you know you really don't want to deal with when you come home from dealing with a lot of drama from either work or wherever you came from so my car is sitting on the side of the freaking road man this is like three o'clock in the morning as a matter of fact just sitting in the side of the road, parked along these parking spaces right now where I'm parked here. I wasn't in this exact spot, but... So some guy, I think he was drunk personally. I mean, I wasn't there, of course, but I don't see how you could have made this, this crazy mistake. This dude comes flying down the hill, and there were no spots left, so I had to park all the way at the bottom of the hill, which one thing I was already irritated about because I had to walk back to my apartment. So the guy comes flying down the hill and levels three cars. He hits... A Chevy Sonic right in the front left fender he mashes my car hard my car got it the hardest of course I mean he smashed the right oh, excuse me it was the left rear fender well and just completely pushed the tire inside the uh, underneath the undercarriage of the car hit it so hard the differential got jacked up the axle fell out the rims broke I think two of my rims on the right side were bent and scratched severely from hitting the curbs because he hit the car so hard. And then the left rear side, that rim was broken in three places, like completely broken. I was like, wow. Then, the uh, of course, the side skirt fell off. And then even the front bumper had damage from hitting the car in front of it. Like, he rocked the shit out of my car. I was like, jeez. So, like, of course, with, a, with an accident like that, I think his car might have been totaled. I don't know. I wasn't there. Uh, unfortunately, like when I found out about it, my mom was leaving my house. She had to drop something off. And she saw my car along the side of the road. And she said, your car got hit. So she sent me pictures and I walked down there. And sure enough, my car was decimated, man. I was so irritated. I mean, it's just a car, really. Like, you can get another car. Luckily, luckily I wasn't in it. But that was a cool car, man. So, like, I say all this to say, basically, uh, people a lot of times ask me, what is the fav my favorite car? I had a few cars, quite a few. Um, you know, being a, um, a mechanic and all, like I kind of know the ins and outs of uh, of mechanical engineering with cars. I'm well, not engineering necessarily, but like the way they're put together and how to fix them and things like that and common things that go bad. Um, first car I had was a 91 Acura Integra. It was, uh, I was in 10th grade, I think. 10th or 11th grade, one of the two. So um, that car was cool, you know. I wanted the newer one, but it was nice, two door. It was black with tan interior. It didn't have any auto problems, so it was cool. Upgraded to a 2002 Chevy Cavalier. That thing was yellow with blue interior. That was a nice car. It was fully loaded, drove smooth. wasn't very strong, but you know, for somebody who just graduated high school, it wasn't bad. Then um, after that, the next car I had got was a 2003. Uh, Mitsubishi Lancer Revolution and you all know it as the Evo possibly and if anybody knows cars that is a huge jump like going from a Chevy Cavalier to an Evo that's huge especially for like a 19 year old kid man back then I was running around constantly chasing girls just driving around trying to pick up girls and you know working making money spending money he wasn't doing shit but you know just being young so that car was lovely, man. That was a great car. After that, I had bought a, uh, a 1990 uh, all-wheel drive uh, uh, Eagle Talon, as a matter of fact. 
So I had bought it with no turbo, put the turbo and the manifold all on it, got it running. That was cool. But that car, that car had too many problems, man. Like every day it was something new. Like you might just fix brakes in an alternator and get in your car and now guess what? The goddamn driver's door don't close. Like it's just always some shit with that car, man. It's, you can ask anybody with those cars that the eclipses from that era, the talons, they were just they're nightmarish with problems. So um, the car I had after that was a. Um, actually, before that, I had a Subaru Legacy, a four door Subaru Legacy. It was a 1993. That car was cool. It was a beater car. One thing I admire about Subarus, those things can take a motherfucking beat. Like, you can beat the hell out of a Subaru and it'll keep running. But, very durable car. Uh, after that, I had a. Uh, what the hell did I get after that? I ended up, oh yeah, I got a 1997 uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse uh, GST. It was the front wheel drive one. It was turbo. Great daily driver, man. That was a great daily driver. That car didn't give me any problems. The only thing I did on that car was brakes. I did a battery on it once. You know, things, the door knob on the driver's side, the door handle. Everybody knows those door handles. Anybody who's owned an Eclipse knows how weak those door handles were. Those door handles were god awful. So, uh, one of those, I did, I did like five of those on that car. They weren't expensive, so it wasn't a big deal. But otherwise, it was a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty stout car. Um, I did, I had a, uh, after that, I got a 2010 Lexus ISF, the V8 one, with the uh, powerful motor. That car was tight, and I liked that car a lot. Very good car. My only gripe with that car was I don't like two things. Rear-wheel drive, I'm not a big fan of rear-wheel drive. Like, I really, I like, I prefer all-wheel drive, really. Um, or front-wheel, but not, I don't really like front-wheel that much, but it's better than rear-wheel to me. To me. Um... Yeah, so like I had that car and then I don't like leather seats. Leather seats, my problem with leather seats in wintertime, they're entirely too cold. Yeah, you can make an argument for heated seats, but why, why? Just get cloth seats in my opinion, but that's just me. Um, yeah, leather seats are too cold in winter and they're too hot in summer. If you've ever been inside a car with leather interior and you left the door closed during summertime and you come back out, it is like a microwave of radiation inside your car waiting to cook you like a bacon strip. Like, jeez. I can't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of leather at all. Even since I was a kid, I never liked leather. My father always said, yeah, you need to get cars with leather because they hold better value. I'm like, I don't care. I don't like leather. Screw that. So, yeah, the, the ISF was cool. But everything else was great. The car had everything. It was a good family car. It was a good, uh, you know, race car. If you want to go out there and, you know, run on the street, which I did a little bit of back in the day. Um, next car I had after that, I ended up getting a uh, 01 Acura Integra, which I had briefly, but there were some title issues, so I ended up getting rid of that. But that, I really didn't drive that car that much, but it drove great. Good handles, uh, didn't have much problems. Honda's adorable. Uh, let me see, what else did I have? The next car I had after that was a 2001 Subaru Legacy Outback. I still have that car actually, and I gotta do some minor repairs on it, but it's a pretty good car so far. It's got a annoying problem when you stop and it wants to like sputter, like it wants to shut off, but I'll diagnose that and find out what's wrong. Yeah, that was, that was that's a cool car. I mean, it's pretty, pretty much fully loaded. It's got a double sunroof in it, moonroof and sunroof. Nice car. It's got leather seats though, I hate leather seats. Uh, picked it up for cheap. Picked it up for like 500 bucks. So can't complain about the price on that bad boy. Got it off Craigslist. Then um, what else? Oh, I had a. I bought a 98 Lexus ES 400. That's the 4.0 V8 motor, the strong motor. That car was okay. I mean, it still it had leather interior, but I don't know. It was it was just okay to me. Like I'm not a big fan of um, Lexus uh, luxury models that aren't powerful. Like. I mean, they're nice on the inside, and they have all the uh, the bells and whistles that a car should have if you're into, like, technology. But as far as, um, you know, just drivability goes, they didn't really like it that much. So I ended up selling that, too. And, of course, the STI got total. So now I'm driving a – this isn't even mine, but I'm driving a PT Cruiser. That's what I'm sitting in here right now. So, yeah, going from a – I know what you're thinking, going through from a 2015 
STI to a PT Cruiser is a huge shock. And you're absolutely right. Like, right. This thing has no power. The only good thing really about it to me is it can fit in some tight spaces. Like if I got a parallel park, I'm good. <laughs> so yeah, I have to say my favorite car was a 2015 STI really. Yeah, it was, that car is, um, it had everything I needed. It had heated seats on the inside. Um, it had the suede. That's the only leather I really like is the suede. I mean, because it's not like super cold when you touch it. It's more like a fabric feel. But that car was, um, yeah, my favorite. And then the second, I'd say, was the Evo. And then the third was the ISF. Because the Evo, I just had so many memories probably. I'm biased against, I'm biased with that car. So, yeah, those are my three favorites. The first one being the STI and the last one being the uh, ISF. So, yeah, I mean, you know, that's just what I wanted to, to get off my chest pretty much. So, cars are, cars are cool, man. I always like cars. So, what about you guys? What's your favorite car you ever own? Right. Like, comment, and once again, hit the subscribe button if you can. Um, it's right there in the uh, next to the, the name of the page. But make sure you do that. Also, try to hit that bell so you don't miss any updates. Because a lot of times I'll talk about things that have been current. Or I might just talk about random stuff like cars. All right, well, you guys have a nice day. I'm going to go punch this clock now. Peace.